Hello everybody and welcome back to Anno 1800 modded Bright Harvest DLC. Um, as you can see, the mod loader has been updated, so we do have our precious juicy mods back again. So like the town hall, like our central station, and yeah, like lots of ornaments here in the center that are only possible with the mods and our skyscrapers. Now, last time we finished kind of, well, we started here with our fuel station and we do have now a few um, grain farms here so with the mod as well once again um, the grain farms are a bit smaller now because of course they need less fields but then again they doubled more or less with the tractor barn here so that's that now what we still need here what I can see is we do have the tr uh, the, the grain trade route going now over here to the ladder world so here we should now be having yeah lots of grain so that is ideal now for the ladder world we'll need a few additional resources and with that of course we do have a few ships available so let's load stuff on it like we need bricks Quite a lot of bricks, actually. Let's take 150 bricks. Let's take some steel beams. Let's take some windows. Let's take more windows, actually. And with that, let's get over here to the ladder world because those pig farms are about to find out a revolution. Now, of course, we can have the silos for the pig farm, so that's what we are doing first. But you can have the, the silos for other farms as well. Like, for example, in the new world, we could have the silos for... Wait for it our alpaca farms, something like that. And we could have the silos then here, as we can see, there it is, a silo. But of course those silos, they do need, well, they don't need grain. And for that, I would need to transport grain then here to Port Royal. In that case, either we have it here in Port Royal, uh, then we also have the plantain, the tractor barn for those guys here, for those plantations, if we want to. But I'm thinking about the tractor more about my rum, because we always need so much rum. And that is just ideal. And my coffee. So let's have a look at my coffee first, Santa Maria. We do have oil fields here in Santa Maria over there. So that is just perfect. So my goal is now to get that over here. First of all, we do need to get back to Cape Trelawney. And we're going to build a few additional cargo ships. Like three more, I think. Let's have the battle cruisers over here because we might need them soon for a war. And with Steamed Bream 2, we have the first cargo ship now going for the new world with some additional windows and reinforced concrete because that's very important for the oil production over there. So we do want to boost our coffee production. We never have enough coffee. In that regard, we can use those items. Now, let's go for Ladder World. We do have everything here in store. So there we have now uh, one of our green or oh, well our pig farms that is now for those pig farms as we can see we do need a bit of additional space here so let's get rid of that street for now and i'm going to have then the silo let's see probably we'll need to move another field here to squeeze in our silo and there it is that is one of the quests so deliver grain to the pig farm silo now there is the silo the new building now with that nothing really changes so far i think right because what we still want is, first of all, we want to upgrade some of those poor warehouses here. They are working at total capacity. And what we want then is this being transported over there to the pig farm. So there's the silo. Some of them or one of them should now be going for it so that we already have the route. We do have the grain in store. There it is. And there it is transported now to the silo. Proper there it job. is. We have finished the quest. And our master, it's no bother if the grain runs low for some reason. We'll manage without the silo just like we did before. I suppose you might see the numbers drop off until we can use it again though. Long term grain. So that is the achievement here. And yeah, actually I think that's it. So we do have now boosted. We have boosted it now by 100%. The pig farm here so for the pig farms of course it's not really that useful you know so it's just an item here that we have another You're boost but for the new world farms it is important or it is valuable because we have much less space over there but here that's the silo that's the quest so with that we partly finished uh, one part of the bright harvest dlc now we need to go back to the old world because in the old world we have two quests that are running right now first of all we have to follow that one here for the quest. So that was the quest for I don't buy it, sail to the starting point. Uh, 
So let the, our Langustine over there sail to the starting point. You are a mover and, a shaker. and now we can begin the tail mission. Now in this case here, once again, we do need to be very careful here of staying exactly in here. Otherwise the mission is lost. So this way I think we've lost with the Master and Gods quest line. But for that, this kind we are much better prepared. So let's follow this ship here. And a little bit later, our Goblin Shark Battlecruiser is now at the site where the propeller sunk. Or at least the ship sunk. The propeller is, for some strange reason, still floating on the surface. So let's collect it. The massive propeller. I mean, this would have made more sense if we would have the salvager to use this one. But fine. Let's use the battleship here. There we have it. Massive propeller. And deliver the massive propeller now to Sir Archibald's lighthouse. So up here. This is where we get it. So this is hopefully where we get the blueprint then for the Great Eastern that we can then craft with that. Meanwhile, what we've also received is a new quest in the Arctic. So one of the bigger quests actually here. So a passage quest. Those who came before us, many have tried their luck at exploring the Arctic and almost all have failed. The explorer proposes you take to the skies in search of the remaining parts, which could be repurposed by old Nate. So we do have something in the Arctic here once again. And we do have only one airship here though, unfortunately. So we still could build the other one. We do have some gas and sails is actually what we need. And I think we should be having one of our airships then here in Cape Trelawney because I think we do have, let's have a look at that. We do have the gas here. There we have some gas and the sails. So we would have uh, everything for the next Airship there, or old Nate is selling us another one. Nope, unfortunately he isn't. But in that case, well, let's use this one here. Let's stop the trade route for now, it's not that important. Let's yeah, get rid of those two things and pick up the crates up here somewhere. Somewhere here in the Arctic, we find the next lost cargo. Now, while that ship is on its way, let's go to the new world because my trade or my cargo ship with the materials has arrived here in Kingston. And let's get it over there to Santa Maria. In Santa Maria, we do have our coffee plantations. Quite a lot of them. Some of them actually are full on the output storage. So we do need to increase our output storage here as well a bit then with upgrading the harbor. So that's where we get a bit of the resources. And here we have our oil patches. So let's get a street all the way over here. And that is where we can then have our oil production for that we'll need a harbor good that we have one here and then we can have the rail system going all the way to the other side there for those coffee plantations or actually what i like more is that we just build a few more coffee plantations here for our production that we can then boost with that and also and harlow has a quest for us it ta i takes it in all that i want to join our underworld one leg one arm three of each don't matter i polish what i find that means you too, Dark Sack. Equip my fresh blood or suffer. Oh, she's threatening me. Way. 14 tons of weapons she actually wants from us. We should be having that. More than ready. 14 tons of weapons. Let's have a look. Getting us the repetition up with her. And yes, unfortunately, what I still want to do is getting rid of Bente. She's nice and all, but she's a bit boring. She's just looking around here. In that case, we can't hurt her, and she is blocking the way for Hugo. Thank you, so, in a new world, she's not here. In Cape Trelawney, oh, she's even happy that I purchased shares from her. But, well, that's banter for you. So, three islands, that's all she has. And in that case... Must be you want to finance the museum. Sure thing, Banta. That's exactly what I intend here. Finance your museum with that. Now, let's have a look. Weapons that we have them 50. Let's take 50 with us. We can sell the other and get it there to the ship. To finish that quest with Anne. So we want to raise our reputation with her, of course. And in the Arctic, our airship has arrived. Pick up the lost cargo. And there we get Lost Expeditions, grab four of them. We can use them for Old Nate then. I'm very glad old Nate's and right. let's get back here to Ryland so and then we can continue with the trade route. Also, our battleship has arrived here at Sir Archibald Black again. Let's turn it in.
The propeller has been debarnacled and fitted and I must say it does look splendid. However, Mr. Bargava and I have since crossed swords over a lack of power in the engine room. It seems we may have to commission some steam motors from you if you want if we want that propeller to spin. Um, deliver 40 tons of steam motors. Okay, I mean we do have that, but okay. Uh, in that case here, the finishing school, the pirate, easy quest. There's some reputation with N. We can use that momentum Fine. to get a bit more we'll out of this one here. Very pirate. good. And Sean, oh no, Sean. A champion of civil yeah, rights. it's fine in that case. Do we have a non-aggression pact? We can have a non-aggression pact. Unfortunately, that does not increase our reputation with those guys here. Right, so that's that. Um, we also have a new cargo ship. I'm eager to hear that, or I like to hear that. Do we have steam motors in... No, in Sleepy Hollow we don't. So let's get back to Cape Trelawney. There we have... Oh, we actually have three new cargo ships there. That was quick. Because if we boosted it with electricity, it's really quick to build those cargo ships. Let's just build four more. And Banta is defending oh, yeah, herself. Okay. She's actually purchasing shares back. Might take a bit longer there to get her. Um, steam motors. Let's get just yeah, 150. That's fine. And let's get that to the old world. And then to Argy. That ship is on its way. And what I think... In the Arctic, our airship has arrived. Let's turn in the scraps here. And then this airship can now continue its journey again. Very good. And because we wanted to get something else here, right? Gas and sails. If they have time to mope, they have time to work. Now, in Cape Trelawney, do we have our airship here? That airship is just absolutely invisible. There it is delivering gas right now we cannot connect uh, collect it or yeah here in the world map so we need to wait for it to arrive in Cape Trelawney because I don't want to deliver the gas there at the moment and we have 20 gas available here I want to get another airship to do some more quests in the Arctic we cannot do that with only two airships so there it is our airship Let's get the more gas. So we have 30 tons now and a bit of sail that we need and probably steam motors. And with that, let's go back to... Let's stop that gas trade route for now and go back to the Arctic. So Crown Falls will do without a bit of gas there for a bit of time. Definitely. That ship is on its way now again. Very good. Let's go to the new world while that ship is on its way because I'm pretty sure yeah, that our cargo ship has arrived with building resources. And we send it back right again to, I think, Kingston it was. Yeah, for more building resources. And in Cape Trelawney, since I have so many cargo ships, let's get another one. And we want to fill this one up with building resources. Bring her around. There we have them. So we do need more, well, timber, not that, that much actually. But steel beams is something that we don't have. And windows. And the other cargo ship, this one here, Shanai. Shanai is also going to deliver some building resources there for us. Some reinforced concrete and some windows. Because we are going to have more trains than the new world. We do have enough um, of the other resources, but that is important. Now, that ship is on its way as well. Something else we can do in the meantime is shares. So, from Bente, we this take very well. this share for some reasons to... Queen got it now. I think I actually sold it now on a whim there, but that's fine. We can still go with that share here, or we can purchase it back from the Queen. Let's go with this one for now, and then we can go with the Queen. There was no cooldown on that. That is pretty good. And the same thing with this small island here. Yeah, Banta, we still want to finance the museum. Totally right. I mean, don't worry for Banta. She's going to have a nice, nice wing here in the palace somewhere where she can reside. So... I'm not going to make her homeless or something like that. Of course not. Also, our airship has arrived here back in Ryland with a bit of gas. So now we should have everything, yep, for another airship that we can commission here. So the third airship is now being constructed in Ryland. That of course means that once again we can have our gas trade route active with Ariadne 3. So this ship is now on its way back again. Why was there a... Warning. 
Nope, seems to be perfectly fine, having enough slots for everything, and the airship is back again. In the old world, our cargo ship Mother Goose has arrived now with the steam motors a bit more in addition, so we can sell some, we desperately do need money. <laughs> And in that case, deliver the to to his, to his lighthouse. Okay, to his lighthouse. So there it is. There is no sign above it, so usually there is one. But in that case, that should work still, and it does. Very good. Let's turn it in. Ah, yes, all those piston arms firing in perfect sync. Thank you. Now, if you cross all your toes and fingers, you don't sneeze. Then the Great Easter may finally be ready to leave the dry dock. As my savior, you shall be the first to know when it does. Alright, I don't know, do we get now a Great Eastern out of this one here? Because we do have the Great Eastern mod that is no longer working. So in this case, all my Great Easterns have disappeared after the new game. Duty done. Time for a Your constant so we need to, to purge it or to build key. it again, probably. Let's get this one here to Sleepy Hollow, what the cargo ship. And let's have a look there again at Cape Trelawney and our docks. Nope, we cannot build it so far. So perhaps we get it soon, the blueprint for that. And there is the quest already of Loading City Great Eastern. Thanks to all your support during its construction, the Great Eastern prototype is now ready to slop into the ocean and Archie has decided that you should be the one to keep it. Apparently, legendary architect Rohit Bargaba is on board. It seems he would like to cut out the middleman and work with you directly in the future. Well, as long as Archie doesn't mind, I certainly don't. And there we have it. Oh, it's looking different than the quest. Finally, the Great Eastern is afloat. Please do keep her. I've had quite enough of her and frankly, her majesty has lost interest too. Don't be surprised to find Mr. Bargava aboard. He has, after all, a most positive impression of you and is rather keen to work with you again in the future. Your ship has returned from its voyage. And there we get the achievement for that as well. The Great Eastern I unlocked. And there so we have it, and it's looking different than what I think I had in mind. There we also have Rohit Bargava, the naval architect. So he's good for shipyards. The construction cost is minus 35%, workforce needed minus 50%, and expedition bonus 50 for crafting, 30 for navigation. That oh, is a I fine ship, I should say. And it even has more slots than the modded Great Eastern. Let's get it back to Cape Trelawney, the Musk Ox, this one here. And I think now in Cape Trelawney we should be able to finally build it again. Nope, we are not. I mean, that's the steam shipyard. Do we have it on the normal shipyard? Can't imagine that. Nope, we don't. Perhaps we need to get back to Cape Trelawney first. Okay, and what we now have is in Santa Maria all the resources that we need. So we might now continue or we will now continue with that. But first, before we do that, let's purchase some shares again. So Bente, there for the last time on this one here. The last time on this one here. Oh, well, the other one has the queen on board, of course. But still, um, Cape Trelawney, we still have, I think, the future of the island. this one here. Very good. And there we got this I'm one. Sure so we can now take two islands then I. next time. And the third one we still have to purchase from the Queen back again. But that should be fine. Now, here in Santa Maria, we do have our oil patches over here. So let's start with... Hmm... We do need the oil refinery here. And we do have lots Shift of oil patches here. So this will be quite the efficient one. Oh, and we have finished the uh, inner ship, another one. The then we do need ended. the air or the small oil harbor. That's something we're going to have Ship over here. Only costing us timber and bricks, that's nice. And then we have, once again, our Your city has grown uglier. railway in the new world. I think this is the one of the first. Uh, let's get over here. This is fine. And then in here, I just don't want to have too many curves. Right, we and we do need to still build the well, so that's a bit expensive there because it's a lot of them, as we can see. Nice one, and this should boost the production here, as we can see, to what, 600%? Or even more than that. No, it's 600, I think. 600%, so that's a lot of oil that we can now use. So over here, let's have a warehouse. And I think what I see here are some grasses that we don't need. 
And here we can now have our coffee plantation. So there we have one. And with the coffee Maybe plantation, we can build now the young. tract. Oh, of course, it needs steam motors again. Let's transport steam motors here. While my steam motors are on the so way, it is time to purchase the first islands from Bente. So this one here, as nice as it looks, we're purchasing it now. 500,000 it costs us, so not even that much. And with that, the island belongs to us now. Perhaps she's left something interesting in the... Oh, a pygmy killer whale. Look at that. Oh, Bente, come on. Don't be so sad. You get a palace room. And, oh, this one is new. Glossy black cockatoo. Cockatoo. So this one here for the zoo we might use. She's got some lots, lots of zoo items there in her warehouse. That would be one. And in Cape Trelawney we do have this island here that we can take now. Every penny from auction goes to the Jorgensen Trust. So this is this and what she's got here. Shroud of the Great Amazing. King you know what to do Museum. Interesting items she's has. She's got there. I haven't seen that yet before ever in Anno. So this looks really interesting. We might just go with that. We might just get it and put it in one of our museums. And <laughs> my opponents really don't like what I'm doing there. And I even feel bad a bit. Now, eight minutes and then it's the end of Bente. So this is the last island of her. She's got no other place. And with that, it will be over. And now we just need to wait for the steam motors. Like you. Now here in Juliborg we can now purchase the last island of Bente and with that Bente is or should be gone. So in the diplomacy menu she is now gone finally and we have Hugo back here up here as our alliance. So in this case here we could now revoke the alliance and finally stop getting at war with the pirates every time Hugo goes. Um, against them so let's revoke the alliance with hugo so of course he doesn't like that initially but trust me he's going to be better for it so that is working all out what we still want to do now here is no our no work. production of the coffee to increase that so we do have a coffee plantation here there we have now our new tractor barn in that case they do need they do need a road connection as well and then we have the coffee crops here and we can have quite a lot of these coffee crops there with the tractor module so it's looking like that and i hope that we can actually copy the whole thing then with the tractor barn and yeah we can do that actually so we could have for example a bit more space here than in between and we could have then another one here with some ornaments then in between finally something like that this is looking pretty Oh, we got a new newspaper edition, minus 30, minus 20, and plus 15, the usual thing. That's that. What we still need here is the fuel station, this one. The fuel station, once again, does need then some, well, rail connection. And let's have the fuel station here, so we can then have more tractor barns and everything around that. And here we just need a rail connection, then going all the way down here, having the connection here. Beautiful. And here we now need a road connection for the transporters then for my coffee plantations. Now those tractor barns do need of course a road connection. Let's have one here. And here. And then we can have some smaller ornaments in between. Something that we can squeeze in there that it looks a bit more natural. So for example some palm trees, some watering hole for the horses. Here, here, a bit of here. The fire left ruins behind. And probably here. And then some tropical forest around it. In between. Unfortunately, this one here has the grass patches again, so we need to get the mod there. Once again for the grass patch. Having a few of those coffees now, of course, the coffee roaster. We still need to build a few more coffee roasters now for that. And I think what we can do, yep, we can upgrade also the warehouse here in the new world, which is looking really nice. So it, it gained a new story up here, a new level. And I especially love the brick colors there. Look at that. Now, this is my favorite one. I like this one more than in Cape Trelawney. A beautiful new third level for the trading post to upgrade and here I've done my job without hellish machinas all my life workforce wise we are fine that now. 
here I can now upgrade this one here for example also three times I feel bad so for the well two times where well, it was only possible once and here we then have progress. for the coffee some additional coffee roasters So that's fine. This is working out. So we now have a bit of additional coffee production here. Let's upgrade that warehouse too. The fuel station is already producing, as we can see, the trap or the, the trucks are delivering now the fuel to the tractor barn. And then we have the tractors here. And it looks different. So these animations are different for all the farms. It looks different than the grain farms. I was already wondering how this would look like here. And he's just collecting it. That's pretty cool. That's a nice detail. And there we have the tractor barns and a bit of oil production now here in the new world as well. Like those guys here. Just mowing down all the grain that is in their way. So that's that for now. We have finished now our farming ornaments and the next episode we're going to have a look at the industrial ornaments, the new say. industrial things that we have and then we polish crown falls a bit before we come to the final end. Stay tuned.